Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don, a mighty explosive one. We have a very special guest with us today. She goes by the name of Charlie. You're damn right. Let's crack into another Yo. one. So, Yo. I want to ask Charlie this because we've talked about dating apps and things before. <laughs> Charlie, how do, what's your opinion on dating apps? Hate them. Toxic or what? Terrible. The, all, the only people I've ever met on there are not serious about dating. And even if they say they are, a Amen. month later, um, I'm actually not ready to be in a relationship. Okay, then what What are we doing here? <laughs> so what are they on there for? Time waster. Just, I can go just, waste my own time. Are they just on there to know people are interested and feel good about themselves? That's it? To have sex. Listen, oh, my God. No, I'm just kidding. Hold Who on. likes sex? Look, if you're on Tinder or Grindr trying to find a guy, then you have nobody to blame but yourself. If we're talking about like hinge, okay. hinge, okay, hinge Cupid, is the Bumble. worst. What is it? Yeah, never they're all they're all garbage. Or maybe it's just bad in Austin. What about Plenty of Fish? It, I mean that too. That's the worst never of all of them. I met a long time girl off of Plenty of Fish. Really? I, I dated her for five years. Found the needle cool. in the haystack. I did. Long hey. distance or? Uh, no, it was in. She lived in New York. I lived in PA at the time, so it was maybe like an hour drive. It actually worked out pretty well, but yeah. you know, we were incompatible in the end. But we left on a. Amicable terms. Well, wow. yeah. So the reason I ask is, you know, you hear about dating app horror stories. So you <laughs> know, things things that escalate quickly, bad encounters, whatever. Uh, before we get into this story, Charlie, do you ha do you have a bad yeah. dating app? Oh, experience? I was waiting. I was like, let <laughs> she me was waiting with come on. breath. Come I on. Her. She was like, shut up, so I can oh, tell the story. She's like, ask me this God. question. <laughs> and. I, I hope he's listening. Oh, wow. Christ. He knows what he did. You no. Know who you <laughs> okay. Are, he knows what he did. So, uh, this is when I lived in Portland and it was like Portland restaurant week or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so all these great restaurants do these spreads of food, like three course meals. Okay. And he had money. I had money. There was no, not going to be an issue, okay? Oh, yeah. There should not have been an issue. There was an issue, okay? What was the so thing? We're we, we, we go to this restaurant. So we're talking on, I don't remember what app it was, Tinder or Hinge or something. This mm -hmm, was mm -hmm. a while ago. And uh, we pick the, he like sends me the list. He's like, what do you want to go? I'll make the reservation because it fills up fast. And so we, I pick the restaurant. We go. He picks me up from my apartment, which... I never do anymore because you don't even know where no. I am on the first date. No, that's no. crazy. Oh my god! I don't even, I don't even offer to pick up a girl on the first date. No, because, because you know she's gonna think you're creepy. He's yeah. ba he's beta fi gamma, so reckless. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I had roommates at the time, so it was like right, they enough. were watching me. Fair I don't enough. know. So uh, he picks me up. We head down to Portland and whatever. Go to the restaurant. Meals great. He's kind of fine. Whatever. We're getting kind of along. fine as in like he's kind of fine or no, like, he's like okay. the conversation is fine. Oh, I, like it was an okay time. Yeah, I can talk to anyone. So like I know <laughs> I'm killing it. But he <laughs> is just like fine. He's meh. Yeah. Okay. And, okay. Um he it was fine. Was he so, boring? Yeah, he was boring. Okay. When wow. I say fine, it, it was just boring. Like I was probably leading the conversation. And uh we didn't have that much in common. I don't know. It was a long dinner, I guess. <laughs> now that I look back on it. <laughs> Seven but... <laughs> hours later. The flags were all over the place yeah, anyway. Exactly. All right. So so the check comes and he reaches in his pocket and he goes, <gasps> No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he left his car his wallet in the car. Oh, in the oh, car. In the car. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, get okay, it. Okay, okay, fine. And so I'm like I don't know what we I'm... have to <gasps> for that, but okay. So I I'm being nice, and I'm like, oh, that's okay. I'll just pay for it nah, and just pay me back. And nah. he's like, I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back. So I pay for the dinner, which, again, fancy restaurant, expensive place, four-course meal, whatever. Okay. okay right. For a guy I don't even know, which, if I if my dad knew this, he would rip this man's apart. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so then uh, we leave, and he finds his wallet in the car. Okay? Finds his okay. Wallet. All right. Wallet was in the car. Wonderful. So he drives me back home. And he kisses me and he's like, that was really great. Like, whatever. And then I go inside. Great. Okay. Date's over. Yeah. It's fine. Next day, I get a text from him saying, hey, Lauren, I really didn't feel that like great about the date, blah, blah, blah. And then I, uh, I'm i like, okay, uh, what about the dinner? Because he said he was going to pay me back. And then I get a Venmo for half the dinner. I'm like, bitch. So at least he paid you for half of it. 
No, I don't see it that way. <laughs> he said he was going to pay for the whole thing. Oh, he said he was going to pay for the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, and it was our first date. Oh, Why the if, heck would the if, girl pay? Yeah, I, I, if he if he says he's going to pay, he's going to pay. Gotcha. Oh, okay. And, and meant, to like, leave me on like good terms, like, that was really great, but I want to see you again. And then yeah, that's weird. next day, here's a Venmo for half. Don't ever talk to me. Again. That's that weird. is wild. It, you know what, man? Dating has definitely changed with, with the internet. I feel like yeah. it, the quality of yeah. the dates that you get have gone down, but the quantity has gone way yes. up. Yes. Yeah, that's really true. Yeah. The, um, that's, that's people are also very that. noncommittal. Like, like I've yes. had a lot of people be. be like, you don't have oh, yeah, to let's be. go out Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, hey, something came up. Can we do Friday? And I'm like, dude, like, no. That is something my mom has brought up a lot with, like, people just cancel all the time. Yeah, like, yeah. last second. Or yeah. like, uh I'm oh, not yeah. really feeling it anymore. Like you yeah. don't even have to have a good excuse anymore. You can just no. be like, I don't really want to go anymore. And just block them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the blocking. Yeah. 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 Blocking. I've definitely at one time like, oh, uh, this was last year. I think I was. I met this girl. I don't know, Tinder or something. We talked for a little bit. We were supposed to go do go go to eat or something. And like, I went into the app like an hour before we were supposed to go meet, and like she had just unmatched. <gasps> And that was it. And I was like, yep. well, I guess we're not going out to eat anymore. <laughs> like we literally had like the the day before she was just like, yeah, cool. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. And then the next day she just unmatched. Oh. And I was like, the fuck? I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm guilty of that. <laughs> like you had a date set up and you just unmatched that oh, day. Oh, yeah. Because oh, you don't want to yeah, tell him like, uh, I'm not in the mood or yeah. actually you're not that cute anymore. Or you find out that like. Your you're friend not that cute anymore. You know, yeah, yeah. it changes. Like, you look yeah, at the pictures a couple like, times. You know, yeah, man. Saturday night you're like, oh, I'm so open to dating, and then like three days later you're like, oh yeah, god, I don't want to do this. Yeah, so I'm good. it's it's yeah. a whole ordeal to go on a date. It is. Do you want to hear the story now? We don't have much. Oh time. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I forgot there was one. We so, got talking. So, anyways, so these guys, uh, he he met this guy met a lady on some app, and he wanted to go out, and she no longer wanted to see him. So she tried to end things amicably. Fair enough. So, um, mm. so what he decided to do, what any normal person would do. Oh no! Um, they they had a plan, and his plan was he ended up getting arrested <laughs> because he was it's going good, to uh, set a bomb off in her house I'm made sorry. with tanzanite or tannerite. But they were also going to shoot. They were allegedly planning to shoot arrows into the front door. Mail her dog feces or dead rats, scalp her head, blow the home up, oh, and release a large python to eat her daughter. He like he teamed up with one of his homies, and that's what they were gonna do. We ain't gonna say so... homies because this ain't this ain't no brother that did that. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, they were white. white. You, you, you play the guess the race white. game. Yeah, it was, yeah, they're white. Yeah, we can, we can yeah. call him homeboy. This homeboy. Home, home. But, Anyways, but either way, um, yeah, that's a lot, man. That's a lot. Men are. Fucking crazy. They were gonna have a python eat his child, her child. Well, first Men of all, a python crazy? wouldn't do that. Men are crazy. Yeah. I don't know about that. Men don't know how to handle their emotions. I mean, that's so not when a lie. they get rejected, they tend to do some crazy things. They either lash out or they cry to themselves. Yeah, to they sleep get. And knows all right. How would, but... you, how would you feel if I said that women are on the opposite end of the spectrum where they're so in tune with expressing that emotions that it can be overbearing? Um, at least they know how they feel. Okay, I just want I want some pushback. We can yeah. get to the pocket. We gotta push back a little we bit. Yeah, we gotta talk about the duality of absolutely uh, men and right. women. But men are crazy and we're dangerous. Well, da but, oh yeah. But the reason that things dangerous. happen like happened to me where I said I had the date and she just unmatched was because she probably has told a guy, "Hey, sorry, I'm not interested," and he came back with whore bitch this slut. Is so da, 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 this yes. other, and it's easier just to be like, "I'm just going to unmatch," That's because so you don't cool. know how they're going to snap in that yeah. moment. Like some some cool. guys will just snap. yeah. Some guys are like, "Oh, cool, I understand, I get it." Others are just like everything to make you feel like shit or bad about yeah. yourself possible, mm -hmm. yeah. and like it it makes it really hard for guys who are somewhat normal and can handle stuff and whatever like because i would much rather someone be like hey i'm not feeling it good luck and i'd be like cool you too bye bro, but like I, I know that most dudes don't do that nah, I, bro i had a friend who was like that i tried to hook him up with uh with my girlfriend at the time her best friend attractive young lady i was like you should you should try to talk to her 
<sighs> he called her one time. She didn't pick up the phone. I was. It's the worst when you find out your friend is a nice guy. You know, when he's just Aww. the guy that's like, "You dumb bitch, you didn't." I'm like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "I can't hook you up with. I can no yeah. longer. I can no longer. I can no for longer you. try to hook you up. You no. just. Yeah. You just went the hell off on. Yeah, and I guess I just I'm, I see that type of behavior so alienating, and I'm just like, it's only like the certain subculture of like red pill incel that acts like that. That maybe it's more common than I actually realize. So. I'm just speaking from my ideas. I don't feel like I'm crazy. I've never gone on on a phone a woman because she canceled. I'm just like, fine, just live my life and keep it moving. But if you've if you've experienced a lot of that, then it has to be an issue. Yeah, it but... has to because it's not it's common knowledge that that shit's out there happening. Yeah. Do you have any like uh, bad? You have bad experiences like that too with online <laughs> dating or just just in general? Like cause you said, like I've I've unmatched, so I know I'm to go on the date. Like, is that because you've had experiences on the other side where people have just blown up on you? Yeah, yeah, I can't really think of like specific examples though, but it's like for sure because I've had guys or th some guys just can't take the hint that you're not interested. Like some guy will start out as a friend and then kind of like, oh, let's try out a date. And then it becomes like a thing of like, oh, actually, let's just stay friends. But they still have that connection of like, yeah. no, I felt something during our date. And it's like, mm -hmm. no, I was just being like yeah. friendly and nice. Yeah, it, it's hard, man. It's hard because the communication, communication between men and women, even though we've been doing it for millennia. Well, still, we, we don't get it. Well, what's really interesting, I read something the other day and we're over time, but that's fine. Um, so they talk about what happened what the exact situation you're talking about with the guy because they they say that because of like toxic toxic masculinity guys will not talk to their their male friends about oh. emotions so if they so oh, they no. only feel comfortable talking about their emotions to females and if they have a female friend that they talk to about their emotions they feel a connection with them they don't feel with anyone else and that's why they get all weird and like whatever because they're able to emote to another person and get like respected and not like because a lot of guys will like oh, wow. just give each other shit or like whatever yeah. and that's what causes a lot of that bond like because to a guy it's like holy shit i've connected and like women talk about their emotions with their friends all the time so they'll wow. it's a it's something they're used wow. to doing so that's that, okay that's, that's so not, true though that's because not, like i I will tell my friends everything when I'm dating someone like we will tell each other everything about that relationship and once the guy finds out what I've told, like small things that I wouldn't think were a big deal. He's yeah. like, why are you telling your friends that? And I'm like, what? You don't tell your friends things like, no, yeah, it's no. so <laughs> different. It's so different. Like, yo, yo, Jody, man, if you ever need a shoulder to cry on, man, I'm here for you. All right. I got you, homie, yeah. I'll hug you right now, but you know, not in front of a girl. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's really interesting though, I, and I'll, I'll stop at this. Like a lot of times, I think women think guys need to go to like all this details mm. about like what like sex and all this stuff they do with like nah. their friends. No. It it literally almost always is like y'all smash. And it's like yeah. yeah, and that's it. <laughs> oh my god, that's, it. that's the only like girls, it's never girls will tell you how what how things felt it don't felt tasted. No, don't all tell me. It. Don't like, tell your girls about the size of my my Johnson. Oh, girls. Tell everything. God damn. I'm going to start telling every guy I know about the death of your vaginas out oh there. Oh, my right? God. <laughs> oh, my like, God. Oh, my God, that. Oh, my God, that. But it's all right to go around putting my penis size all over yeah. Facebook. Girls are gross. Girls, girls are really are gross. gross. <laughs> We're funny. We talk about, like, really gross stuff. Hey. Damn, I got a four-inch dick. Bitch, you got a six-inch vagina. I don't know. Is that, <laughs> is that a, a, anyway, on that note, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. It's he and. Charlie. All right, we out.